Hallelujah. I'm sure you're hearing that. Sickness in my family can, can make me to sin against God. Poverty in my family can make me to sin. Generational curse. Maybe Mary and Mary, or, I mean, spirit of limitation, or, I mean, whatever, which is generational curse. I mean, untimely death and all other things. When it happens, I become sad and sin against God. So all these things, you must never allow your salvation to have some wrong attachments. At the end of the day, when you pray, it's like you're wasting time. Let me, let me try to tell you, to pray is not easy. <laughs> to pray is not easy. You know, in prayer, there are levels. When you're kneeling down here to pray, there's a first level that you need to break. You hear your prayer is hitting the roof. Do you understand that? So you must pray, pray. That's why when you pray, you begin to praise Him, worship Him, whatever, so that you bring Him. If you just get to pray, you can find that there's this level you need to break. There's a curse maybe in the house you need to break. You find your prayers hitting there, coming back to you. It's like you're praying to yourself. When you start to pray the word now, okay, you're fighting those curses, you break, you come somewhere now. You enter in the spirit. Nowadays, uh, we are claiming to be more spiritual than physical. When we pray, we just start it. I mean, sometimes we need to know the word of God. Because we are living in the word, we pray by the word. If you understand that. So that whatever we are doing, what we are asking, it will be in the will of God. Sometimes you can ask that your enemy must die. It's not the will of God for you. Because God wants to keep your enemy to see that you can still progress in front of him. So, so it's only the, the word of God that will help you now to understand. It will help you to understand. Oh, the scripture becomes right here. Think about, think about somebody wanted to kill you, but it's not getting you. Wanted to kill you, and the day you find him, you kill him. And that person was the one who can stop another killer. That person is the one who can stop what? Another killer. Because that, that one will just say, hey, you know, I've tried to kill that man. Uh, that man, uh, let's stop killing him. Let's leave him as he is. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So you, what you do, you stay in the wet. You stay in the wet. You enjoy the wet. You've got your wishes. You don't blame anybody. Your focus is Jesus. I, I mean, even if you blame, how much do you get? Let's take you talk the whole night about Mac Macaranisa. You talk the whole night and Macaranisa is sleeping. When you wake up, I mean, I'm, I'm dreaming eating maybe a cake and you're talking about me. You're wasting your time. I'm sure you understand that. Let's get out from people who get unto the word of God. So, our wishes, God wants to give us. If this year, you people, I just want to give you only one man. If you people, you remove people out of your mind. You just remove what? People. People can talk. I can tell you what other people were saying here. They gave me three months. Many people who leave the charities, they give me three months. Three months. I don't know why. I don't know why they give me three months. They give me three months, they say this church will be moved here. And I was excited. This is a good prophecy. Because I need an office. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. They say, within three months, you will see that church will be moved here. I say, yeah, hallelujah to that. So you see, you will see. Yeah, the, the community will rise about against the church. This will happen. Within three months, it will happen. I'm still checking which community. I'm still searching. Because I can tell you that, you see, whatever that people speak against you, it works for you. Yes. You must not fight them. Keep, keep your silent. Carry on doing what you're doing. You see what I was doing? 
myself here. I went to US, from US, I went to Canada. Canada, Taiwan. So I'm coming from Israel. So I leave them here talking. <laughs> You, you, you must know yourself. Uh, I'm going to Zambia now. I'm going to, I can travel all over the world because I've got invitation everywhere. Let them talk when I'm on the first class. So, even you, I want to tell you that, even you, you are entertaining Satan. And you forget your wishes. You forget what? Your wishes. So your wishes takes you back to what? To the word of God. I was telling Mama, I said, Mama, you see, we are here. But we've got all the money of this world. We talk about dollar, we talk about what? People are giving us. Those who are talking, they are advertising us. And when they advertise us, you must stop complaining. You must stop looking at yourself down. You know, I will tell, I will tell you this thing, but it will surprise you. Uh, my, one of my brother was very worried about what was happening to me. So he said he went to the meeting. He called me and said, I went to the meeting. When he was in the meeting, he said he had some people were there in the meeting. They heard that his surname is Makananisa. And uh, those people came and said, Sorry, sir. Uh, you know the pastor of Tebisa, uh, Apostle Makananisa. He said, Yes. Sir. We still believe that he's a man of God. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll give you an example. You cannot fool the whole world. So now, if you cannot fool the world, can you tell the whole world? No. What you need to do, you people, from today, take my words. The moment anything, you find something working against you, you must know that spiritually it's of lifting you.